But uh, first off, we got a lot of news coming out of AEW, including the uh, AEW business article that was in the Observer this past week. Dave, they're making a lot of money. Well, they're grossing a lot of money. They're uh, grossing a lot of money. They're grossing a lot of money. I mean, they're yeah. The the uh, I mean, it's it's interesting because today, I mean, I've gotten so much feedback from people in and around. AEW and it's a lot of negativity right now you know as you know um but and i think some of that stems from you know i mean the the show the show saturday night obviously was a very poor crowd um it's a great show or a very good show um but it's interesting because there's a lot of negativity while at the same time there's um you know, the company's grossing more money by far than it ever has the last couple of months. Um, it's been very, very successful in that sense. As far as turning profit, I, you know, that's a different story. But um, as far as the value of the company, you know, I mean, the, the, the you know, there's, a, there's economic aspects of the company that look really good. But there's still this feeling that, and, and understandably in wrestling, it's always who's number one and... They are far from number one right now. You know, they were, you know, a lot more competitive um, in things like television ratings and attendance and things like that, um, you know, 18 months ago than they are now. And there's, you know, so it's it's kind of just a really interesting thing, um, you know, where you've got like a negative perception, um, which usually comes when the economics are bad, but the economics are are not bad right now but they're still worrisome in the sense that when you look at the future and you look at the uh upcoming shows i mean you don't see shows with uh you know that look like they're going to be drawing big crowds uh in you know in too many places i mean really i think the the nassau show the pay-per-view is the only one with what i would call a, a fairly good uh, uh, advance and some of the advances aren't that good. Well, London, of course, for August, that's that's got a tremendous advance. But the rank and file weekly shows, I mean, we don't see a lot of big ones right now. You know, although they have done better in some cases, in a lot of cases actually, with with late buys. So I don't panic at the low advances. But still, when you see them, and and some of the cities, like when they go to um, Louisiana and places like that, it's kind of like well, tonight, even, what. Tonight in Montreal, it's not yeah. that strong, especially for debut in Montreal. Yes, Wednesday's um, all right. Tonight is not all right. Um, yeah, but for the debut in Montreal, I mean, it's disappointing. I think that if this was a year ago or two years ago, and they debuted in Montreal, I think that the first show would have done giant business because that's the kind of a market you know, like those big wrestling markets when they would debut. Um, they did giant business. I mean, they'll end up. You know the the Wednesday show will end up fairly good, but it, you know the thing is with the with the collision tapings in Canada, they don't they, get collision. They don't get collision on television yeah. there. So so the and these two shows are in the same building. So like if you're an AEW fan and you can only go to one and you're going to choose one or the other, you're probably going to choose the show that you can watch. Yeah, would be my guess. Well, I the would. one that that, that that that's considered the A show in that country because yes. the other show's not even there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and to you know, again, going to the same building twice, it's it's very difficult to do that. I mean, in in most cases historically, nobody would even try. I mean, like WWE has been somewhat successful, and and AEW in the past has has had some success um, in running you know the mar you know the same market two straight nights. And this was the first time ever in Montreal, so I could see the mentality. I don't know why they're taping. Um, you know what the what the reason is they're taping Collision on Tuesday instead of uh, going live on Saturday. That's, um, you know, um, but they are. I'm sure there's, you know, there's reasons for it. Probably because they just wanted to do two shows in Montreal and didn't want to stay there that long, and maybe they couldn't get the building on Saturday anyway, but they could get it Tuesday, Wednesday. So, so yeah, Collision's being taped, and the, the tournament matches are being taped. You know, that's another thing, too, is the... Um, the um, um, the TV, you know, the last couple of weeks with the tournament, the TV's been a lot better. So it's like it's there, but still, I think there's a feeling that I think the reason that there's a lot of negativity. Not, I don't even think negativity is the right word, but just uh, if you look at several uh, years ago, 
you know, WWE was uh, year over year. I mean, their declines year over year. It's all we talked about was, my God, look at these year over year declines for WWE. It's just double digit here, double digit there. And yeah, AEW like, starts that's not the case up. Anymore. Well, here's the thing. AEW started up and they had tremendous growth. And there was that period where it looked like these lines, there was a chance that they might intersect. They looked like they were. And then all of a sudden, then WWE turned it WWE around. WWE turned it around, and once WWE turned it around, that uh, it you was know, up for AEW at that point. Being this close, they aren't this close anymore, and they no. are now a very, very distant second. And so I think a lot of people are just, you know, they so badly wanted that to happen, and uh, you know, if you if that had never happened. And you were just looking at it as, okay, well, you know, WWE is always far and away number one, but here's a secondary promotion, and how are they doing in comparison to, like, every other secondary promotion that we've seen in forever? It's like, they're doing great! Yeah, aside but from... But because they got so close for that brief period of time, and then everything kind of turned around the other way again, I think it left a lot of people just going, man, you know, things are... They were, they were up here, and now they're down here. When in reality, it's not like they were really up there and now they're like totally down here. I mean, they're still doing, you know, fine. I, I mean, good. I mean, ec economically, they're doing much better than they were at that time. Sure. Um, but the perception is that they're not because of the the live shows, you know, feed a lot of the perception. And the, and the ratings do because of the two numbers that people look at, you know. Um, and they don't really look at the pay-per-views, which are, you know. The pay-per-views are doing very well. Doing you know, the well, ratings yeah. are down a little year over year, but so is television. I mean, you're also comparing it well, to WWE, which is so hot. They're, they're so hot, and so everything's up year over year. So when you do well, that well, comparison... Well, 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 well um, Raw, up until, you know, up until a couple of weeks ago, Raw was not up year over year. Um, you know, um, it, it, it was up before, but... Before was, football season. Before football, but yes. football... Football hurt them a lot. Well, football worse this is year. destroying everything. Football hurt them it way is, worse this year yes. than, than other years. Um, SmackDown is is still, you know, I mean, it's it's up. Um, NXT is way up. NXT is way up. House yeah. shows are way up. Well, here's the, here's the other thing. You know, I mean, a month ago, everybody was talking about how NXT was going to surpass Dynamite. And now, you know, it's not even close again. Well, yeah. So, I mean, whatever that means. I mean, not, you know. Um, I, mean, I never should... thought that NXT was actually going to surpass Dynamite. Oh, I heard. I mean, a they lot. were they NXT is doing well when they have main roster people come down there, but you know, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that one's going to happen unless they start bringing down like CM Punk starts to do a run in in uh, NXT or. You know, Roman Reigns starts making appearances. Well, Roman Reigns is on, yeah. But yeah. Uh, I don't think you're going to see. You know, they they kind of. I think they've they've sort of peaked. Uh, well, how they, they're they, going they, to do with main they, roster they, talent coming down? They they well they they peaked when they hot shotted for that that show with Cena and Undertaker. Yes. Because then everything that followed was let you know was a, a downer. You know what I mean? Like I don't I don't know that that I mean. By going so hard on that day for that win. Um, you know, since then, it's it's been the opposite, you know. Um, but um, yeah, I mean that's the case, and they still have main roster guys on the show every week. So what happened with Kevin Sullivan? He was let go today. Um, Mike Mansuri made the call. Um, and uh, this was and, not the wrestler Kevin Sullivan. This was yeah, the uh, the head of post production. Yes, who had been actually around for ever. Well, and he, was, he, he had, had been, been in TNA forever, and then he was, when he, he went to AEW, I mean, a lot of the AEW production people that came from TNA were Kevin his, Sullivan. They're his guys. Yeah. Well, the whole post-production team was his team. Yeah. And so a lot of people were very, very surprised. And, you know, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people that were not happy about this today, um, which is also one of the reasons, I think, why there's a lot of, you know, again, all day hearing negativity and is is because of this one, because he's been there from the start, and there's this feeling that the company is changing, which it, it always is, and it has to. You know, you're know, you always going to change, but the feeling that it's changed and it's become something that it wasn't. And well, that's this is true. Another, and, this is another, and this is another sign of the idea that they took a 
guy from WWE and replaced their, and you know, and just, I can't even say replaced because they were two different jobs. You know, I mean, like um, Mike Mansuri is the head of the production at the shows and um, Kevin Sullivan was the head of the post-production. But, um, you know, the idea that he that, that they brought in a guy from WWE and put him above the guy that they had, you know, who had the ability to get rid of the guy. So that was, you know, for people who had been there from the start, you know, I could see where that, you know, it's another thing of, oh, they're, you know, WWE guys taking the place of people who were here from the start. And, you know, it's becoming, you know, that thing. And, um, you know, um, I mean, that, that and, 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 you know, I mean, there is that thing. You know, I mean, where WWE guys come in and, and again, it shouldn't, and, and sometimes I don't think you should categorize it that way um, because they're their guys. But you like say, you know, it's funny, the, the angle with the originals, with the, the women's angle with the originals and the, uh, the um, you know, the, the people who came from WWE, it's almost like that angle in, in a weird way is almost like a description of the, you know, some of the things going on in the company itself, as far as like certain feelings and things like that, where you have people who had, you know, been there from the start and now aren't getting a lot of TV time and um, other people are. But with that roster that they have, I mean, one of the things with, with the talent, with the amount of people they have on that roster, um, they're never going to keep people happy with that many people who, who, who are talented. And even with five hours a week of television, you're just never going to be able to do it because there's so many people who want TV time and, you know, think that they can contribute and get very frustrated and then get frustrated at the people who get the TV time, um, you know, and, and rightly so because some of them have delivered in the past and haven't gotten a lot of TV time of late. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.